Hello and welcome to the section 6 of the course Hardware and Software IoT Pen Testing. Now in this section we are going to take a look at various points. First of all we will learn about Amazon Echo Pen Testing, then TP-Link Smart Switch Pen Testing, then how to perform pen testing using Commodore Firewall and finally how to perform pen testing using Private Eye Firewall. So let's start with Amazon Echo Pen Testing. In this video, we are going to take a look at a couple of points. First of all, we will learn about the Amazon Echo and then how we can perform pen testing on Amazon Echo that we are going to learn here in this video. So first of all, let me show you that how Amazon Echo works. So I've started the browser of my main operating system and on Google, you can type Amazon Echo and hit enter. So you can get information about this product from Amazon website right here it is Amazon Echo Amazon official site and click here so it will provide you information about Amazon Echo so this is just for education purpose so this is Amazon Echo right this is how it looks right and you can get information about Amazon Echo right here place all your music from Amazon music Spotify Pandora and more using just your voice right so call or message anyone hands free with your echo device so it has many features right you can learn about the amazon echo from the description of this product on the amazon website right so now if we want to perform pen testing of amazon echo then how we can perform it and what will be the result for example if we want to perform malware attack on amazon echo so is it possible or not so you can see in the first point that Amazon Echo can be used to eavesdrop. What is eavesdrop? Eavesdrop means listening conversations. For example, two persons are communicating with each other and I'm listening. That is called eavesdropping. Right? So it is possible. Now attacker can turn the Echo speaker into a wiretap. In the second point you can see. Wiretap means I can listen their conversations. Third point, this attack can send all information to attacker. And this weakness can listen to microphone listenings as well. Right. So attacker will simply send a malware to Amazon Echo and attacker will install it, right? And that malware will provide information directly to the attacker. So this attack is possible on Amazon Echo. Next is man in the middle attack. It is possible on man in the middle attack is or you can say sniffing. In the first point, it's very hard to perform man in the middle attack. Why? Because you can see that on the left hand side Amazon Echo and on the right hand side amazon servers in the middle for example this is attacker right and he's trying to perform man in the middle attack in between the servers and the product but the protocol amazon is using tls which is transport layer security right transport layer security means it is a kind of strongly encrypted data so when amazon product will send that encrypted data to amazon server and if attacker is trying to gather information using man in the middle attack then it is not possible to decrypt that data because it is tls which is the most secure encryption right so according to me on amazon echo man in the middle attack is not possible for example if you are using wireshark and you are trying to gather packets so you are not able to decrypt these kind of packets right so malware attack is possible but man in the middle attack is not possible on amazon echo so this is about uh, pen testing results about amazon echo 